Hey guys, it's Jocel. So I went to the beauty supply store today to get my hair and I went to black on one and it was perfect. Like the best experience I've ever had. I have never felt more comfortable at a beauty supply store in my life. And you know what I'm talking about. I felt comfortable because they weren't following me around everywhere trying to see if I'm stealing. When I walked in, they were like, take your time, baby. I'm like, I will. <laughs> I will. They're super nice and stuff. And I'm just like, period. I'm never going, I'm never going nowhere else. I'm going to be back. I would let y'all know what the beauty supply store is. But I want y'all to know my location. But just know, go to a black owned beauty supply store. Please find one. If it's not near you, at least shop with them online or something. Go to a black owned beauty supply store. Support us. Kingship. We're kinfolk. I understand not all skinfolk is kinfolk. But still, we need to support our communities. And if you want to have a good experience at a beauty supply store, we don't want to feel rushed. We don't want to feel uncomfortable. Go to a black owned one. Anyway, I'm going to give y'all a haul to show y'all what I got. So I got this bird right here. I've never used this before but they didn't have expressions so i was like whatever it's the same kind of written here and since i'm doing locks it won't matter because it'll be covered anyway i got two of these in color 1b i actually think that one would be enough for me but i still got two <laughs> just in case you know what i'm saying i'm not trying to be going out to beauty supply store often even though it's black owned that i want to support it's a pandemic so i'm not gonna be going out like that you know what i'm saying so i got two just so when i take out the locks if i want to do braids or something else i'll still have some but yeah i also got some of these deep waves they didn't have water wave either I guess I should have asked for spring twist hair, but it's totally fine. I was like, you know what? I think it'll be fine either way. I know that when you do faux locks, you do use spring twist hair as well. But I wanted to get water wave hair just in case the locks don't look right. Then I could just do passion twist. But I'm sure you can still do passion twist with this. If not, I could do goddess braids. Whatever. I'll figure it out. But I think I got six of these. So hopefully that's enough for my hair. I have a lot of hair. Very thick hair and it's a lot. So hopefully this will be enough. No fear it'll make the locks look good. But either way, I was like, I don't care. Give me what you got. Also, do you guys like my glasses? I wear glasses, but I don't wear them when I film because I have the ring light on me. But because I'm filming from the window right now, I just felt like wearing my glasses. Because there isn't as bad as it would be with the ring light. Also, I just came back from a job interview. This is my outfit. These pants are just way too big on me because I've been working out a lot since COVID. So now these pants are really huge and they keep sliding down. So yeah, I got six packs of that here. And then of course the shining gem. I just finished mine. I had like the small version. So I got this big one because her, like this is that girl. Like this is the only thing that has ever been able to lay down my edges i did my edges for today but as you can see it's gone but like it was smooth like purr like get into this y'all shiny jam is really that girl then i got some more a lot of body wrapping foam because you know what i'm saying i'm you know it's good <laughs> i saw this one hairstylist talk about how when you do your twist outs and braid outs all you really need is wrapping foam and i said what what are you talking about my video when i was talking about natural hair tips i had to go natural in 2021 that video i had put my hair in cornrows and i used this and it looked pretty good like it looked really good the reason why it didn't look as defined as i guess what the hairstylist said because i feel like probably because my hair was not detangled like when i cornrowed my hair i just did it like i was tired i wanted to go to sleep so i didn't really detangle my hair properly so i feel like if i would have detangled my hair properly then it would have like been perfect perfect i also got on jackie's curl la la defining curl custard um i don't know why i got this like when it comes to definition i'm not really i don't really be caring about definition like that to be honest i mean if a product says that it will give me definition i will be looking for that but if i don't get definition i'm not gonna be crying about it you know what i mean but i've never tried on jackie's before and i wanted to try on jackie's so yeah i didn't even look at the price honestly i was just i just grabbed it <laughs> that's me i just be grabbing stuff but i'm pretty sure on jackie's black owned as well so per like give me back to me per yeah hopefully she's good but even not like she's still moisturized and i'll still use it till it's gone <laughs> we'll see if it really does define if it does define that's great if it doesn't define it's fine i'll still keep using it but yeah also got me an edge brush because honestly for my job interview this was the first time i've ever laid my edges and it looked nice like if you would have seen me in the morning it looked good like it looked like really laid edges and i just used an old toothbrush so i'm like you know what i think i'm finally starting to learn how to lay my edges i've been fully natural since 2017 so that's like almost four years but i still never really laid my edges because i i just didn't know like it just did not work i didn't have any products that worked but seeing how it worked today i'm like wait i'm gonna try to slowly get into laying my edges first off you don't need to lay your edges by the way laying your edges is is whatever you know what i'm saying like you do not need to lay your edges it's okay if you want to or if you don't want to but i'm definitely gonna start trying so I was like let me get a real edge brush giving that swoop <laughs> let me give it that swoop <laughs> also it was free they were so nice like i know it's just an edge brush but it was free this is also free i already have a bunch of these but i want to support them so i bought some more it's fine <laughs> but you can never have too many of these like they be breaking like crazy we losing them so 
and I got me a wide tooth comb. I don't be using combs, but I just wanted support. I wanted to support that butt, so I bought it. I don't have a comb like this. I have a smaller comb, but I don't have one like this. So I got this one. I also got this comb. Why I say like that? This comb. I'm really giving country. <laughs> I'm doing south. And anyway, I got this comb. I have rat tongue combs at home, but I don't have any like this, like with this kind of rat. Like I have like the plastic ones, you know what I mean? So I was like, let me get like this kind. So I, I feel like these get like sharper parts and stuff. And I want my parts to be sharp. So I'm like, gonna get this also to support them you know what i'm saying and also because like this per per like you already know like you already know then i got me the tangling brush and again i don't be using brushes to do anything but i wanted to support them so i bought one and because why not try it you know what i'm saying like i've been very low maintenance with my hair since i went natural and i do like being low maintenance like i know in a couple of videos ago i said i wanted to not be low maintenance but i actually get you know i want to be low maintenance i don't want to be out here using 10 products on my hair i'm okay with using one or two products at a time but i do want to start actually tangling my hair because i really don't be tangling my hair that well when i detangle my hair it's really it's really giving lazy and i'm not trying to do that like i want to detangle my hair properly so i got this because it'll be good to detangle when my hair is wet i'm still gonna be finger detangling mostly because that's just my preference but definitely if my hair is really really struggling then i'll get this i have a demon brush but i stopped using that like really quickly i just like this just felt too rough on my hair so i'm not using that again but this one i've seen a lot of people talk about these and it seems more gentle on my hair so yeah I'm gonna be using this. And I got some of these clips. I already have clips, but I wanted these specific kind of clips because they're much bigger. You know what I'm saying? I only have like butterfly clips and then smaller clips of this version, but I wanted this version too. You can never have too many clips anyway. So different versions is cool. It's cool. I also got nail glue because for the locks, you're gonna need nail glue for the ends. You know what I'm saying? And then lastly, I got some of their shea butter that they make themselves. Shea by us, outstanding shea butter, all natural oils, mango and argan. They have mango and argan as well as um frankincense but this one's like really sweet i like that so go to shabyus.com try this out this is not sponsored i just want to support black owned businesses yeah fill to the brim look at that it smells so good like he let me try some i was like this thing melted into my skin <laughs> melted so i'm definitely gonna be repressing it for sure but yeah that's all i got at the beauty supply store today i cannot wait to use this like i'm gonna put it all over like it smells so good and i feel like it'll last a long time too support black owned businesses guys seriously support black owned businesses and yeah support black owned businesses that's all i gotta say support black owned businesses if you somehow find this video thank you so much you are so sweet so wonderful truly god bless you guys and i'll definitely come back and i'll make all my friends come too because we gotta support y'all i'm not doing my hair today i'm tired like i did not sleep at all because i was so nervous about this job interview i was paranoid that my alarm wasn't gonna go off and so i ended up waking up at 5 a.m and i couldn't go back to sleep so Anyway, one more time, support black owned businesses. I'll see you guys when I'm actually starting to do my hair, which hopefully will be this week. So I wanna get done by Sunday because we're going back to church on Sunday and I'm trying to look, look good. I mean, I already look good no matter what, period. But you know what I'm saying, bye. I just washed my hair, it's freshly washed. I was like, you know what, let me do some African thread in per. I finished, as you can see, I finished them. Hey guys, so as you can see, these are not locks. The whole thing just unravels. Like it doesn't even stay together. 